This is the stupidest thing we've ever done. This is the sketchiest thing I have done in all of my travels. What is it? Some guys, what the? Okay, let's take you back to the beginning. So in our last episode, we showed you going through Lanha Bay. We met our tour guide, his name was Boilo, really nice guy, kind of looks like a pirate. Well, anyway, the entire time during the tour, we spent the time talking to him, getting to know him a little better, and long story short, he offered to show us some of Kappa's hidden gems. And he had been living there for quite a while, so he really knew the area. He was actually with a new tour guide that he was training, Ghoulie, and it was like, okay, cool, so we're all gonna do this new experience together. Yeah. Well, one of the places that he was going to show us was a Kappa war tunnel that was used during the American and Vietnam War and during World War II. We're thinking, oh my gosh, well, this is really, really cool. We're going to get to see these tunnels. It's going to be an adventure, chase for adventure. <laughs> anyway, it's important to note that Kappa Island was heavily bombarded during both of those wars and actually even through wars with the Chinese. And this ended up being a huge problem because now we have tons of landmines that are unexploded in Kappa. So anyway, this was very foolish. Sorry for the helmet hair, but we have just driven to go find some war tunnels here in Kappa. And I don't know if you guys know much about it because we didn't before we got here, but apparently Kappa was ravaged pretty much by everybody. Oh, and we're about to have to walk through the water. All right, so at this point, I'm pumped. We literally had to get onto our motorbike and then drive through some incredible scenery. Kappa has beautiful cliff sides that you literally are just driving through and when you have the wind in your hair you hear the engine the, like roaring and it's just like oh I could live here forever so I was pumped for that so we, we did a crazy gorgeous ride on the way there we go down this like small gate I wish we had a picture of it but we didn't some guy had randomly unlocked it so we drove through went down these sketchy little roads down some back little mountain area and then we pull up to this rocky beach and so we park the bikes, we get off onto this beach, and we're like, okay, where do we go from here? Pause, guys. This looks like somebody's backyard. Like, I'm staring yeah. at their cows, the little calves. I'm watching this guy, like, do his gardening, plan his fishing trip on his beach. Yeah. So this doesn't look like a place that we should be at anymore. No, it really, that's exactly it. It did not look like we were supposed to be there. But no one said anything, and we're definitely under the impression, uh, I'm just going to keep doing me until someone tells me not to. Exactly. So, so we kept going. He's like, the exit to the war tunnels is over there, but we have to start the tunnels on the other side. He's like, it's just a small climb through the, the mountainside. And we're like, okay, that doesn't look too bad. It really didn't from where we started. What? Like, we had some rocks on the side, and then you had some water on it. And he's like, oh, you have to walk through some water depending on how high it is. Pause. So we officially had to swim all the way through there. Annette is completely soaked and I just took off my pants. What he meant by we have to just do this small little climb. Okay, apparently he had never done this during high tide. So there is these giant boulders that are kind of hard to get a step in and you're getting wet, you're in the water. So it got to the point where I was just like, you know what, screw this. I'm going to just get <laughs> into the ocean with my romper. I was not even wearing a swimsuit, totally unprepared for this whole experience. And I swim around the big boulders until we can get to a place that we can safely climb up the rocks. Yeah. And now we're experienced hikers and trail runners. This isn't our first rock climbing rodeo. Yeah. We've climbed viewpoints and Mount Fuji. We're experienced. And even this was a little dicier than I was used to. So anyway, we climb up into what's supposed to be the entrance of the tunnels, but it's completely blocked in by these giant, what looked to us like sawgrass, but it could yeah. just be any random spiky plant that had overgrown and blocked the entrance. But it was these massive, massive green spiky trees that just flooded in the center. And all I remember Boilo saying is like, dang, I should have brought my machete. And I'm just like, oh, we don't have anything to cut through this. That's my Indiana Jones. Ouch. A little, a little ouch. Like trying to get through, but they're catching all bits of me. It's like a proper obstacle course. Just, just, just sharp. <laughs> just sharp. A sharp obstacle course, okay. Tuck in that left corner, because I got him held back. Oh, you're amazing. And then walk through to me. Hello, made it through. That's what we just made it through. <laughs> now it's time to turn the flash on. 
All right, so we finally made it to the entrance of the tunnel, and it was, it was seriously something from a horror movie. This is definitely the part in the movie where like you're sitting on your couch eating your popcorn, and you're like, don't you do it. Don't go in there. Don't do it. And now I kind of understand why the idiots always go in there and end up getting murdered, because <laughs> we were like, ah, oh, tiny hole in the wall. It's kind of wet, dark, damp. Let's do it. Looks we just sketchy. We walked through it. Like, I don't know what we were thinking. Like, at that point, we should have been like, uh, let's sit down, like, rethink our life decisions. Nah. We were just yeah. like, okay, cool. Boiler, you there? Sweet. Literally. The rocks are cool in here. I don't know why we didn't think of all of the dangers that could have been in this cave. I'm talking animals, snakes, spiders, anything uh. that could hurt us. Not to mention landmines, because these are literal war tunnels that have been vacated for years, maybe to, decades. To be honest, I was definitely like, okay, landmines, side of a cliff that gets beat by water, not gonna have it. And then you have like inside the tunnel, who's gonna booby trap their own tunnel with landmines? But what if the enemies booby trap the tunnel so that when the people came back to their tunnels, they would all die? Oh, never mind. I don't know, we just didn't think of it. Anyway, we didn't think about the dangers. This was so foolish. Yeah. But we went in anyway. Okay. Watch your step. Hey guys. What are these tunnels? Oh, these are just all underground. So this goes all sorts of places. Yeah. Was it back to start the tunnel? It's like from the horror movie. Yeah, 100%. Why are you going? All right, so this is where it gets pretty dicey. So, from the second we This walk, is where it gets pretty I mean, dicey. Come on, this is where it gets dicier, okay? <laughs> this is where we were like walking in and immediately we're greeted by this like foot by two foot hole in the ground. And we're just like, okay, everyone watch out. So we walk through and it's like this big open corridor and then it narrowed into some tunnels and it was just like, what are we doing? down here. We didn't tell anyone what we were doing. We like we did not think this through at all. We're like, Instagram, hey, we're going here. Oh, we're on the side of a cliff. Oh, we're in the front. We're going through some bushes. And like we didn't tell anyone that was actually staying in Kappa where we we're going. And the only people that knew we were there were the four of us, which definitely should have thought through. And Instagram, which <laughs> what the heck are you guys gonna be able yeah. to do if you guys just don't get a story of us leaving the tunnel? They're probably like, oh, they just lost the internet, where it's like, no, we died inside of no, a tunnel. No, we died. <laughs> well, sorry guys. <laughs> Chase for adventure out. <laughs> but anyways, it, we just weren't thinking. And so we get in there and we start going through these like narrow corridors, narrow corridors, and we we just go anyways. Oh, there's a hole, okay. Yeah, don't try to walk through the dark. There's that little bit. That's a hole. Every few feet, there was a new set of tunnels, a new room, a new ditch, and every yeah. time that we would walk, it would be nothing but walls covered in huge roaches, frogs, giant rats, and bats flying over us. Every minute we would spend down there, we would just be thinking and it would consistently sink in. What a bad idea this yeah. was. <laughs> and then this happened. How oh, cool. A goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. Yeah. A goat? Well, let's go back. Let's slide back. Wow, boy, Lily, you can't scare us like this, bro. That wasn't me. That was some That was what? That was an animal. I'm down to slide back. So at this point, this is where Daniel says, nope, I'm done. And I like keep asking like, hey guys, we really do this. I'm like ready to slide back. Like, I just want to get out of here. Like, I don't care if I have to climb back through the cliffside or swim, like I'm not going forward. And then Boilo of course is like, oh, come on, man. Uh, don't, don't be a normal guy slang in between here. And it's just like, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it anyways. 
you got me, Boylo. And I, and I just like, I just shut up. And I just kept walking and it didn't get any better after that. Like no. at all. We literally spent the rest of the time in the tunnel ducking so that the bats that were flying overhead wouldn't hit us, walking past corridors that had gold skulls and bones on the sides of them, and hoping and praying that no other sketchy animals would come up the tunnels and eat us before we left. Yeah, and we all had like sticks. Like that was it. No form of protection. It was, it was a bad idea. Literally guys, I have never been so stressed and overwhelmed with despair the entire time. <laughs> that was a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully, we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, literally. And we get just washed over with relief and gratitude that we've made it out of this alive. Yeah. And looked at each other like, why did we do something so stupid? Yeah, that was a, a very much a questioning our intelligence and sanity. Yeah. So, my sincere recommendation to anybody who's going to Kappa Island, if someone tells you to go see some sketchy war tunnels, say yes. It. What? No? <laughs> go at your own risk. <laughs> That's exactly it. It was pretty cool. I'm kind of happy we did it, even though during I was like, you're an idiot. And after I was here, like, you're an idiot. Well, I guess now that you guys have seen this video, yeah. you know exactly what to expect. We had no idea what to expect. Yeah, I guess it does kind of ease the pill to swallow. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this uh, kind of sketchy, kind of dangerous adventure. On that note, click the subscribe button down below so that you could get the rest of our adventures, sometimes foolish, sometimes misadventures, yeah. around the world. Make sure to give the video a like. Write us a comment. Let us know what you thought. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. The that was like going into a haunted house at the fair, except it was real and the danger was proper. <laughs> Dude, 100%, did you hear that? Like, yeah. That was not a tiny animal. Maybe it was the bats. 100%, man. Daniel.